Hello and welcome to the PCB design tutorial. So I'm going to route these components in this video. I'm just going to make sure I save. But before I do that, I will highlight all the components and move them over to the battery footprint. So I'm just going to place this here. All right. What I'll do is move the battery so that the pins are sticking up and have enough space to go through the board. Now they're a bit close to the edge, but that's okay for this tutorial. I'm going to go into route mode and start routing from the top. I'm going to stick to a 45 degree line lock and zoom in. My constraint manager dictates the minimum line width. So that's why these lines are kind of thin. I set the minimum line width to 15 mils. But you can always go larger on the minimum line width for your components or for your constraints. Alright, so I want to make as many straight connections as possible And if you make a mistake, just right click and choose oops. And you can stay in the line connect mode or the connect line mode while being able to route your board. Don't want to make that connection just yet. Uh, okay, so they're crossing over each other. So what I'll do to make it easy is move these pins on different sides so now we don't have to worry about that overlap let's go back into line mode now this is interesting okay I'll just click oops I can just connect right here directly Let's see what options we have for this. So we've got some crisscrossing here. And it doesn't really like my setup. Hmm, it's interesting. What I can do to help fix this is to make my line with a bit thinner but that would be pretty small for my design constraints nonetheless I'll just connect it and here I will click once right click add a via to go under the board and click here And then for this connection, I will click here, right click, add another via, click here, add one more via, and make the connection right here. Now, to use as many as three vias, generally not needed, but 
it's a good way to show you how vias work and how they can connect you through the top and the bottom of the board. Let me just show you a 3D view of how this looks. This is the entire board with the battery package. But if you want to see the board without the battery package, let me just specifically highlight everything that's not the battery choose 3D and this is what it would look like let's move this battery package back where it was right around here and of course we'd have to reroute the connections just to make sure they're connected all right, so that's routing. And I'm gonna take you to the manufacturing of the board. But before that, I'm going to clean up the text.